Hello YouTubers, and welcome to Having a Blast on Condemned Criminal Origins Part 8, I do believe. When we last left off, we passed by a burnt out library. I'll never read a book again. Luckily, I never have to go to school again. Oh, bollocks, this is the school level, innit? Right, okay. Let's, uh, let's go back to school, people. Thomas, it's Malcolm. How are you doing? Is the investigation going well? It's going as well as it can be. Wait, what are you doing here? How did you know where to find me? Yeah, well, just Malcolm. a coincidence. Saw you from across the street. Coincidence? I don't know what your game is here, Van Horn, but I've got a job to do, if you'll excuse me. Ah, got a lovely pot of coffee beside me. And, well, at least the power's run into this place. Um... Uh, you, beggars can't be choosers. Two before it is. Right. Hello, rat. Oh dear. <laughs> You're trying to scare me with your little light trick. No. Oh, pipe. Ah. To hell with your two by fours. I have a pipe. And a dead bird. You are no match for me. But it is always worth taking a look through these small rooms because you never know what you might find. You might find a gas pipe. In which case I would be laughing. Ah, hey up. Oh, it's creepy piston mouth face. And Sure, well... What the fucking hell? Where are you? Can hear you, you're making your weird ass noises. Oh. Fucking golem up there. Let's, uh, let's deal with this. First of all, I need a sledgehammer of sorts. No. I can't imagine that sledgehammers are that easy to come by. Paper cutter, why not? Everybody loves a paper cutter. So. Let's duck under. There's Gollum having a wank or something. Jesus. I've made some weird noises. So, basically, I've just gone through there for no apparent reason whatsoever. Um. Oh, the sledgehammer! There it was the whole time. You idiot! Use the sledgehammer. Go smash! What the hell's that? Thank you. Was that some fucking weird deformed dinner lady? Thank you. Now then, where to next? Well, I can't go through there. But we probably could go through here. Yeah, I thought we could. Class is dismissed. Ah, what a lovely corny line. Loose lips sink ships, eh? Oh, what do you know, a pair of lips. Good timing, just walked in. Start sending data when ready. 
brilliant. Processing. This may take a few. Really, it's a pair of lips. Human tissue. Color adipose deposits and adjacent facial hair stubble indicate that these are human lips and facial skin. Also, I've run the faculty list. The gym teacher at your location during Carl Anderson's tenure was a man by the name of Samuel Tibbetts. Cool. And before you ask, yes, Tibbetts' medical records provided his blood type. It's a match with the facial tissue. Cool. Now then. I didn't want the rebar, I just wanted to see if we could get through that door. Apparently not. So let's see. Ah. Oh. I know what you're gonna do. Yep, there we go. Many thanks. Do I want a desktop? No. Might be a unique weapon, but it's a shit weapon. I uh, need no health. Saving checkpoint. Yes, indeed, eh? What? what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. You were not supposed to get up. Please remain dead. Anything this way? I don't want to go in there just yet. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to go that way. Damn shame, but needs must, eh? Needs must. Let's do this. Ah, you fool! You killed your friend! And now I will kill you! Many thanks. Right then. Can we go through there? No. Can we climb through here? Looks like we're uh, going through the cafeteria. Hey, dude. I've just seen you do a runner into there. I might have assume you've gone to hide in there. Hi! <laughs> oh, shit! Epic fail, epic fail. Kieran, that is an epic fail. Oh, my God! Come on, recharge. Recharge. Hurry up and recharge. That guy's got a machine pistol. Machine and pistol! Yeah. Do I want your submachine gun? No, I don't. Tell you what I do want, though. Some health kits. I seem to have fucked up badly there. Okay. Okay. Do you have health kit? Health kit. Health kit. Please, health kit. I lo oh, health kit. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you, health kit. Now then. <coughs> now that that's all been uh, resolved, let's go bust some more heads. Been in here. Should we take a trek up the stairs? Or... Well, it, it looks like it's our only option. But that's a bit, oh. oh, there was health kits all, all along, just here. And a shit smear on the wall, that's nice. Okay. Can we go this way? Probably not, but it's always worth having a quick look. Nah, I didn't think so. Right. Up the stairs. I'm willing to bet. They do open. What about you? Nah, you look like you're openable from one side. As I suspected. Hey, let's watch a basketball game. Whoa! I did not see him coming. I really didn't. I've got an itchy ear now. 
Ah, oh, lovely. Okay. This doesn't seem... Oh, shit! <laughs> Little bastard. Another dead bird. Right. Let's just rearrange that slide. There we go. Now then. Oh, I need a fire axe. Okay. Okay, there might be something slightly unsavory about here. Hey! Oi! No, it don't matter. It don't matter. You, were, I didn't want to intrude. You can eat your pile of rotten meat if you'd like. I'm more of a steak guy myself, but each to their own. Oh, wait a minute. I think I remember this. Uh, That is why I'm going to need every last scrap of help I can get hold of. I believe this is something of a miniature boss fight. Um, take the small pipe, my trustiest weapon. Doesn't that hurt at all? Ah, psycho dinner lady! Right, so he's got the fire axe. And she's got the meat cleaver to get at the fire axe. <laughs> it's just going to be a big game of hit and run with this bitch. Because... Yeah, that's right. You're not like the dinner ladies I used to know, you bitch. You're down sight fatter and uglier. Come on. Come on. Uh, think you're out because you got a meat cleaver, you gutless fat bitch. There we go. I've got a bit better range on her. She'll go down eventually. <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't too bad, was it? Grab the meat cleaver. So I suppose you could call this an access weapon in some respect, but um, many thanks. Is that a gravy ladle full of brains? Whoa! You little shit! This doesn't strike me as the most savoury skull. I won't want my children to come here. I don't have any children as yet, but. If I did, I would not want them coming into this place. For one, it smells like brains. For two, it doesn't look very clean. And for three, that dinner lady doesn't look like she's cooking nice stuff. But then again... <coughs> school dinners were never that good anyways. That being said, they've apparently improved. I looked at, um, I looked at a dinner menu for a local school, and it, it's pretty gourmet nowadays. Anyways, enough of that. Enough of that delicious smoked salmon that you get at primary schools these days. And, and probably all schools. Smoked salmon. We were looking to get a minty lamb burger. Okay. 
Oh. Really should have gone for the uh, sparking thing in the corner. Yeah, that would have made sense. More evidence. Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, let's ready the tool. That's right, Ethan. Get your tool out. Cool. Transfer complete. It's Timmons. Fingerprints from his personnel file match the hand. It looks like the torturer got to him before we did. Right, let's do this. Um, does anyone want to call maintenance on that? Nah, I didn't think so. I'm sure Gollum's got it well in hand. Where did he go? Oh, there you are. Come back, you little bastard. Ah. I'm sure he'll be back before long. Right. Dark catacomb under things of a school. I thought that might be explosive for a second. And if it was, that was a bloody stupid thing to do. Yeah, let's crack it with a metal pipe. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> right, okay. Now then. So there's no way for me to get under there. There's no way for me to get... No, oh, bugger me. I thought that were a ladder. So, how does one traverse this evil? Oh, there's a ladder. So we can go deeper underground, as the popular song went. Oh, let's look in here first. Hmm, creepy vibe music. Hmm, I think that's the way to progress, but let's take a quick look downstairs first. See what happens downstairs. Ah, some tramps hide out. A test pattern TV achievement. <coughs> Smash up someone's cardboard house and let's go. Okay. Any dead birdies or bits of metal? No, I don't really care. <coughs> right. Now, if I recall, it's been a while since I played this game, but if I recall correctly, a massive brawl is going to ensue in this uh, playground in a couple of moments. So I want to be finding somewhere nice and covered and tasty. I don't know where Tasty came into it, but hey. Okay. Duck in there. There's a rifle. Some health kits. But a health kit. Mm, I don't need the rifle just yet. Thomas speaking. Thomas, I just wanted to make sure you met me up front when we were done. I didn't want to interfere with the investigation, but... What the hell? Nah, well, at least this guy's got a smile on his face. Ow. Okay. 
think that means that nasty things are coming. That's why I'm going to hide in this box. with a gun out there. Right, just let him fight it out. <coughs> oh, you fucker! Oh, where did the other guy go with the other weapon? Oh! Oh, did you run out of ammo, mate? <coughs> That's right. Okay. Break windows in emergencies only. This is an emergency. Okay. So I want to jump down into there. Can I can I go through the door like any normal civilized? No, no. Of course you can't. Lovely. This looks like a nice place to die. Jesus Christ. So, hang on a sec. Was this just locked from the other side? Or... No. Why does it even matter? <laughs> I'm in the building, aren't I? Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Once I've found it, now from what I can tell, we're looking for something against the wall. Ah, here we go. Blood type still a match. This is Tibbet's trail. Brilliant. Then let's continue on the trail of Tibbet's. Open the door. Ah. More birdies? God, this is weird. Ah. So what are these guys doing? They're robbing the place or they just squat here and smash anyone up that comes by? I just happen to have a pipe on me, you know. That, those kinds of people. Hmm. I'm through. Lovely. I think I'll stay this side of the counter. So I don't have much choice. They're not going to come out until I come through. Alright. Come on then. <laughs> Cheating bastard. That was definitely a block. That was blocked. Ah. Might as well get one of these. 
keep one for later, just in case. You know how it goes. Right. Go ahead. Awesome. Is that some weird writing in there? Brilliant. The trail just ends at a bank of lockers. Thomas, have you looked inside? Alright, let's have a look inside. Jesus. So, was it your lips, mate? And your arm, apparently. I believe you found Mr. Tibbetts. Image seems to match personnel file. It didn't come through properly, though. Up. Yeah, sure. No problem. Oh. Help. Help me. Help is on the way. Who did this to you? Carl Anderson. The torturer. Okay, take it easy. Do you know where he is now? Other man came to Carl away. Let me to die. Jesus. Rosa, send an EMT immediately. Cancel. <laughs> Ugh. Two points of note. DNA taken from the hair matches current profile we've established for the guy who's been stalking you. The guy we're calling Serial Killer X. Also, there are some additional organophosphate particles present. Similar to the pesticide we found on the matchmaker's neck? An exact match. I've been running an analysis on those samples. It's azenfos methyl and is class 1, highly toxic was previously used as an insecticide for all sorts of agricultural crops, now banned for domestic use, and can only be used commercially by permission. This particular formulation includes some other trace chemicals, and can be matched to a brand name called Applewell. I've put in a contact to the company to see if we can get a purchaser's list. Applewell. Apples. Yes, as I said, it was used on all sorts of agricultural crops. Apples would be one of those. Yeah, the town of Briar is pretty rural. Any chances there's an apple orchard up there? I'll get right on it. Cool. Okay, now is that trying to hint you will need this shovel? I'm not going to take it. Because I'm so defiant. He's running away from a swirly, that one, I bet. And, uh, it would appear my defiance was foolish. I need to go back and get the shovel. <sighs> right then. Thank you. For the shovel. This way, this way. Remind me if if there's a shovel nearby, let me pick it up. Turns the valve. Turns the valve now. That's lovely. And this door doesn't seem to open as easily as the last one. Well, this is a nice swimming pool. Would have been nicer a while ago. Okay, let's jump down into this shitty, horrible mess. This goes pretty deep, this 12 foot. 
Oh, whoops. He was already dead, wasn't he? <laughs> what the hell's this? Oh, this is just bizarre, man. Oh, Christ, get off, get off. There we go. Is that everyone? Don't you creepy bastards any more of you. <sighs> now that was a pretty fucked up nightmare. Let's climb the ladder. Anyone got some health? Health? Bit of change? Okay. Well, dudes, I'm in a really desperate situation. I. I don't give a fuck about who's got the biggest pipe. Does anyone have? A nice little health kit for myself. To consume immediately. I need some codeine. Right. Fucking fire axe. If it's not a shovel, it's a fucking fire axe. Excuse me, matey, did you did you have a fire axe? No, I didn't think you did. You are of no use to me. Please die. Oh, you already are, sorry. Um okay. So if there's no fire axe in there. Is it don't get stuck in the graphics, Ethan. Oh there it is. <laughs> Hiding from me all along. No, I said use a Varax, not swing it like an idiot. There we go. Well done, mighty Ethan. Ah. Weirdo creepiness. Health kits? I don't think it's much to ask, for God's sakes. Come on, surely one of these young... <laughs> Lovely. Conduit will do me. Unless I can find a superior pipe. Oh, sledgehammer. Oh, which... Come on, then. Let's... For a bit of metal. Yeah, worth it. Totally worth it, man. Totally worth it. Don't fuck with me, I've got a conduit. Blood showers. I wonder how popular they were. I took the pipe and there was a pipe still attached to the pipe, <coughs> if that makes sense. Okay. Open the door. I don't like this. Just 
shit himself. Wakey, wakey, Ethan. We got it. There are no currently licensed fruit orchards in the town or the surrounding countryside of Briar. But there was one once. Apple Seed Orchard, just outside of Briar on Route 4. In business for 40 years, but closed its doors just 10 years ago after a tremendous outbreak of apple maggots. The orchard never recovered. Curious though, county deeds show it's owned by an out-of-state real estate firm. This is the same room, just with trophy cupboards. Oh, what the hell? Huh. Oh, Malcolm. Right. Well, that's it for uh, chapter eight or part eight. If you've enjoyed going to school as much as I have, then. Maybe we're just both crazy. Anyways, if you have been YouTubers, thank you very, very much for watching.